have the TA20, our blue one. I'll just show you some of the features and how it's waterproofed. So if we start here, what you can see on the right hand side there is the on off button. Moving around, this is where the battery is kept and there is a slide switch with lock off so that it keeps it nice and safe when it's submerged. Here we have on the right hand side the USB port which actually uh, flips out and I'll show you that in a photo a bit later. Again that's locked off uh, as is the headphone cover down this end along with some other uh, ports that you have. So it's a rather nifty little uh, device where you've got something where you can uh, hang it if you want to have it around your neck. So it's a pretty good little camera. This is the uh, functioning cockpit side, if you like. As you can see, it's only got a half screen, which looks as a viewfinder. Um, that takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's something that is part of having the, uh, the screen submersible. All you need to do to actually submerse this camera is to lock it off by that blue button, and this touchscreen stays just as it is, no covers or anything. It's really amazing. So if we want to choose to do something, we just choose our options. So we went from the mode, we can choose a video camera, camera, or we can choose just to do the audio. So here's our little fish tank. Not too big, 60 litres or so. A few fish in it. Hopefully they won't be too phased and they're not going to get electrocuted when we stick this in. Bit nervous about this trial, but we'll uh, give it a go. Are you ready, fishies? Here we come. Bethany is just about three, falls over like any almost three year old. So this camera is going to get a real test today, she's probably going to climb on the jungle gym now so we'll see how that one goes as well. We'll take photos and video throughout the day and see exactly what she does. Yep, another drop. 